welcome back guys in this new video i will be showing you how to produce the orthographic projection for this using sketch i will also be showing you how to apply or to select and apply autocad command if you notice in like manner so this is it's pretty much this is a model of this and uh the front elevation is taken from x so we'll do this we draw the front elevation if you were to use autocad we would type rec for rectangle then left click at the start point then drag then enter 80 comma 10 80 and horizontal 80 by 10 you get this And then we notice that there's a cutout here. There's a cutout here at this part. This is a distance of 30. Now, in setting up, it is important for you to turn on your activate or tick your midpoint. So I'll be drawing a circle here of radius 15, which is half of this. So I type C for circle, enter, left click here, draw a circle of radius 15 to get just to get these points then i bring these points down at a point where i press there that's done so the purpose of the circle here is to get the point is to get this 30. yeah 15 plus 15 is 30 so that's how we get that my next step is to Establish the distance between the front and the end elevation. For this, I could use line. A typically, person would draw a line and offset it, but I like to use advanced techniques. So we could use a line from here, line, left click here, down, and uh, the, the distance between the front and the plan should be between 15 to 20 millimeters. I will then draw, so the front is done, the plan, it's now time to establish our plan. The plan is what we see when we look from above, here. So the plan will be someplace here. Now this is a rectangle with a rectangular piece removed. So I will draw a rectangle at some convenient point here. Rectangle, left click, start, and then enter 80. 80 comma 50 80 by 50 then i will move this in place move this i'll choose here as my base point click here to drop that there yeah this can go now we won't use it anymore now we have established the overall dimension for this. The next thing is to remove this section here. And again, here, here is a rectangle. So I'll be using rectangle again, and then copy and paste it. This I then move it into that little space. REC for rectangle, left click to start, drag. In this case, on the X axis we have 30 and the Y we have 20. So we rectangle 30 comma 20 to get that. I have then move this into the drawing. So I click type M for move, choose here as a base point, drop, click it right here, to drop it right there. Once I've done that, my next step is to trim. So I type TR, enter, enter. Left click here to remove that. That is gone. That is done. My next step now is to establish or to draw the end elevation. 
First, I'll start by drawing a line here at minus 45 degrees. Line L, start point, drag, drag, then enter tab key, tab, minus 45, enter. So that we draw a line down here at 45 degrees. So to draw a line, why did I enter? 45 minus 45 and not 45 degrees the reason for that is that the angles are measured in an anti-clockwise direction but i want this to be in the opposite direction so i enter minus 45 minus 45 degrees now that i have done this the next step is to apply my favorite command or one of my favorite command rectangle so for that i would type rec for rectangle oh, well uh typically person will draw lines here and then bring them up and then bring this up to get the point right here to get the point whatever that you want but i only use advanced and shortcut techniques so for that i'll be teaching how to use rectangle to get this so i type rec for rectangle i left click here Left click there. Left click here. Then I hover at this point. Then drag the touch here. Then this will create a rectangle here. A rectangle there. This is our first point. My next step is to click the space, press the space bar, bar or reactivate the command. Then I would left click up here, left click here, then hover at this point, drag across, touch this, click here, you get this other point right there. Once I have the lower left and upper right point, I can now generate my end elevation. So lower and upper. I then direct rectangle, left click lower, left click upper to get this. Yeah. And in like manner, I could do the same thing to get this cut out here. I'll go, go back to rectangle and I would left click here, click here, then hover at this point. Don't click, just hover and then trace click here to form a rectangle here and then here would be the point where the, the media line should be and in like manner we'll do the same thing across here draw this here rectangle over here here to get this point Space bar to reactivate rectangle, left click here, hover at this point, then drag. Remember, remember, we do not click here. We simply place the cross here white. When it turns blue, we draw across to create a line. So we do that to get the upper point here. Then we use rectangle, left click here. Then we do the same thing to get this point here. Left click, left click here. Then hover at this point to here. And that is it. The front London end elevation has been generated.